Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video today I'm going to share with you some chrome pigments from Mosaic that I got from Kathy at AR Nail Supply in Ontario. She was so gracious to send me four pigments to share with you guys so if this interests you stick around and let's see what these look like. Okay, so here are the four pigments that Kathy from AR Nail Supply sent me. We have Rose Gold, Ruby Chrome, Cobalt Blue Chrome, and Hematite Chrome. Now, just a little info for you. I had actually gotten halfway through this video last night with doing the pigments, and I have to say I struggled with the timing of my No Wipe Top Coat in my lamp to get a nice chrome finish. And when I finally figured it out, it was late. So I thought I would do this again, show you what worked for me, and hopefully that will help you if you decide to pick up these pigments. So let's start right away with the rose gold. And this is stunning. This is a beautiful rose gold. I'm going to use my Vision Gel No Wipe Top Coat and I actually use this particular bottle for color pigments. And I have a silicone tool, a sponge tip makeup applicator. First thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out the timing of carrying your no wipe top coat. And I actually found putting the pigment on top of, you don't need a color underneath. I was putting the pigments over top of a color and you don't need to do that. So you can, but why waste product? So I'm gonna apply my no wipe top coat and I'm only carrying this in my LED lamp for 10 seconds. I found that worked really, really well. And how I applied it made a huge difference. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this for 10 seconds and then I'll apply the pigment. Okay, so I'm gonna take my makeup applicator, dip it into the pigment, obviously. <laughs> and I'm actually gonna get more than I normally would on my applicator. And I'm going to dab the pigment into the top coat and cover the nail completely. And I'm pressing it in. And then I'm going to rub a nice shine into it. And depending on the pigment, I found it's sometimes the silicone tool works better and sometimes the sponge tip applicator works better. Then I will just get rid of the excess powder, wipe any extra, and I'm actually going to do this in two layers. Put the no wipe top coat on. Here for 10 seconds and apply the pigment the same way. So I'll be right back to apply the pigment. Okay, now I'm gonna put my second coat on. And rub it in. And I actually have a nice layer right on my silicone tool. So it's rubbing the pigment right in there and you're not gonna rub any pigment off and kind of get those scratchy marks. Then I'm just sort of dusting the loose pigment off and kind of shining it up at the same time. I also found when I used my fingertip to try to get a nice super, super shine, the oils from my skin transferred onto the pigment and it dulled it. So I wouldn't recommend using your finger, bare fingertip. Maybe if you had gloves on, that would work better. That is so pretty. Put another top coat on. And I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, and there is the rose gold 
pigment for you, those rose gold lovers out there. I think you would really, really like this. I really like this. I would wear this. I'm not a rose gold fan, but my eyes drew to this color when I opened up the package. Very, very pretty. Uh, it's gorgeous. It really, really is gorgeous. I think you could wear this all year round. So the next one we're going to look at is called Ruby Chrome, and this is stunning. This to me screams, screams Christmas. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same technique where I'm going to put a layer over top of the nail so you can have a nicely built out nail with no color on. If you want to put a black or a white or a red underneath, sure you can. I just don't know how well you would see the color. This pigment is so pigmented, so that's why I don't know if you would see the color or not. Okay, cure this for 10 seconds and we'll start applying this beautiful red chrome. I kind of put a fair amount on my brush because I am kind of mashing the pigment into the semi-cured top coat. I've seen people go like this and just like dump a ton of pigment on. Um, you can do that. I just don't know how, I wonder how if that's kind of wasteful. I you know we as nail techs or even do-it-yourselfers, we pay good money for these products. So wasting is kind of not fun. <laughs> okay, so that's a nice light coat. Brush off the excess. Put a second layer. Let's do the same thing again. It's like this stuff is magnetized because I'll dip my brush or whatever tool I'm using and I get like a something that looks like a sea urchin. <laughs> so I'm just pushing it right in. And then I'm going to start rubbing. And I'm not pressing very hard when I rub. Okay, so this didn't go as chromey as I wanted it to, so I'm going to try one more layer and see if that works. And I'm going to try do it Maybe a bit more pigment and not be so careful with it. Okay, I'll be right back. Like you almost get a better shine just by pressing it in and rubbing. I'm just lightly Lightly brushing, lightly swiping. There we go. Okay, so for this red one, this ruby chrome, using a little bit more pigment than you would think you would have to use works really, really well. And then I'll put top coat on and cure for one minute. Okay, and here's the ruby chrome. So, so gorgeous. That is something I would definitely wear <laughs> at Christmas time in the winter. I love red. You guys know that. I love red. Okay, next color. Okay, next color we're going to look at is cobalt blue chrome. And this is gorgeous. Put a layer of clear top coat on. And I don't know if you can see this or not. You probably can't, but my top coat has got a whole bunch of pigment in. Even if I wipe on my brush before I put it back in the bottle, you know, you're either wasting good product or trying to get the pigment away or you put pigment inside your bottle. So it's good to have a bottle of top coat designated just for your pigments. Okay, I'm gonna cure this for 10 seconds. Okay, and I got a clean makeup sponge applicator. See, you know what this looks like? It looks like that 
with my lamps it cured more right here than it did around the side so let's try that again cure it for 10 seconds Wow, this one worked out way better. And I'm actually going to put one more layer on just to see if I can cover up this part right here. I do believe it's my lamp that is doing this, not the product. Gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, I'll cure that for a minute and we'll be right back. Okay, and here's the cobalt blue chrome. Absolutely stunning. These are such pigmented, rich colors so far. Gorgeous, oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Well, I, I'm not too sure what, to, what else to describe this color. I'm mesmerized by it. It is beautiful. You, oh, you could do so much with this color. Okay, let's take a look at the last color. Okay, this color is called Hematite Chrome. And this has got it's like silver and pewter colors and a little bit of black and gray. And I have tried this out over top of black and just a clear swatch stick. But I did this over a neutral stick. So it kind of gives it a gray hue. Very pretty. You get that nice chrome look. You could put this over top of a gray nail and you would get that nice chrome sheen on top of the color. But I have a blue black swatch stick already swatched. I'm going to put a layer of top coat on and cure for 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. Push it into the half cured top coat. and watch magic happen. <laughs> okay, like, wow. I don't even think I want to put a second coat on because you're seeing that black underneath and you get a nice chrome, subtle chrome look on top and you could, I bet you you could put this over any color and get that nice hue of red or pink or purple or blue or whatever base color you're using. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I really like this look right here and I am, you know what, I am just gonna leave it like that. Oh, but I'm so tempted to see what a second coat would look like. Hmm, what do I do? Okay, let's try it. <laughs> the Hematite Chrome seems to work better with a sponge tip applicator than a silicone tool. It's a little bit, it seems to be a little bit easier for me. I thought the second coat was going to make it more opaque, but it doesn't. Oh, this is very, very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Really, really. Okay, I'll top coat this, cure it for one minute, and we will recap these four colored pigments. Okay, so here's the four colored chrome pigments we just tested out. Do you guys have this chrome set? Do you have any of these mosaic chromes? I would like to know. I would like to know your technique of how you apply the chrome to the top coat and how you get it nice and shiny. Any kind of tip or trick would help me immensely. I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I, I did struggle a little bit and that I didn't show in this video and found 
found a technique that worked, so I wanted to share that with you. But if you have a different technique, let me know. Let all of us know. And do you have a favorite color out of these four? I'm not sure how many colors of the Mosaic Chrome AR Nail Supplies carries, but you can check out their Facebook page or website to find that out. I just wanted to share with you these four pigments that Kathy graciously sent to me to review. And I have to say, despite the struggling of my own user error, not the product itself, I will give this product a two glittery thumbs up because you do get pigment everywhere. And you know what? I actually, the more I'm covered, the better I feel. <laughs> So, oh, I guess I have to tell you what my favorite color is, don't I? I don't know, you know, Kathy made this one difficult for me. Yes, my favorite color is red and I love that ruby chrome. I'm not a rose gold fan, but this is like eye popping out, wow. This hematite chrome is something I've never seen before and it is stunning. Something, I think if you were in the market and you could only afford to get one, this is probably the one I would get. It is the most versatile. The pigment I feel that would go with any set of nails, any color scheme, any anything. I think with the other more solid colors of pigment, you're kind of held within that spectrum of colors, if you know what I mean. Right? Right. I don't know what else to say about this. I really enjoyed using these. Anyway, that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Give me any kind of suggestions on application of these pigments. I would greatly appreciate that. And as always, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, Facebook and Instagram, at Elite Nails by Carrie. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give it a like, press that bell notification because YouTube won't notify you of new videos that have been uploaded from someone you subscribe to. So you do have to press the bell notification. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.